Hi, I'm Brian Grise with Edge Technologies. Today I'm going to show you how to recover an FMB bar feeder from a, uh, an alarm that occurs occasionally during bar change that'll say press upon not correct. Uh, that'll happen along the entire FMB line and the solution is typically the same regardless of machine model. I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot that and how to uh, resolve that today. So what we're going to do is we're going to look inside of here and typically what happens is during the bar press upon uh, portion of a bar change, what happens is when the grippers are closed and the pusher is pushing onto the back of the bar, for some reason it can't reach a position to satisfy it to allow it to continue. There's a parameter in the bar feeder that tells the bar feeder that that pusher has to reach a certain position in order to be satisfied so that it can continue. And if it can't reach that position, you get the alarm of press upon not correct. So the way to correct that is going to be as follows. There's two parameters that, work, that need to balance to work together in order for, um, in order for that to continue. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to close the grippers as they are right now and we're going to jog the pusher forward until the pusher collet contacts the grippers. Okay, as the pusher collet reaches the gripper there. Okay, we're going to jog that to that point. Okay, and if we look at the current position on the display at that point, we're gonna round that down a little bit. It's currently 2.307. I'm gonna call that 2.25. I'm gonna round it down about uh, 50 or 60 thousandths so that the pusher collet does not actually contact the grippers. So uh, depending on which control panel you have, the process to reach that parameter may be slightly different. Uh, on the new ErgoLogic control panel, it's going to be uh, the menu here, setting, service settings, positions. And the parameter you're looking for is called position draw off. The name of that parameter should be identical regardless of the control model, just the process to reach the parameter may change. So we're gonna change this parameter to 2.25, enter, okay? That parameter needs to be set in this manner in order for it to be correct. If that parameter is set incorrectly, it could potentially cause the problem that we're having. The second parameter that we need to adjust is relative to the pre-feed position or short pusher feed position. In order to adjust that, we're going to open the channel, uh, the pusher swing, and we're going to jog the short pusher or pre-feed pusher forward, and we want it to position it just slightly in front of the front edge of the pusher collet. It must be in front of that front edge, okay? Usually roughly equivalent to the back edge of this remnant swing in most cases. Okay, and we're going to adjust that pre-feed pusher to that position. Okay, in this case, it's 71.055. So we're going to adjust that parameter to 71.055. So we're gonna go back to our settings. We're gonna go back to our service settings and positions. And we're looking for limit position short pusher front. That's the parameter we want to adjust, okay? So we're going to adjust that 71.055, okay? That'll get us a rough estimate of the settings that we want for this process. That should get us pretty close. Um, the last thing we need to do is perform a bar on sequence. Once you perform a bar on sequence, see if you still have the alarm. If you do, 
you can increase the short pusher front position slightly more and uh, usually increase it by about a hundred thousandths at a time until the alarm stops coming up. If you do that, if you do that two more times and you still have the alarm, then you probably have another issue like a worn clutch or um, bar stock that's too big for the collet or a collet that's too small for the bar stock or something of that sort. But starting with setting these two parameters correctly is the first step to make sure that the machine is set up properly. Once you've done that, you can troubleshoot further uh, if you're still having this problem. I'm Brian Grise with Edge Technologies and that's how we adjust an FMB bar feeder for push your collet, press upon not correct.